The oceans were alive, teeming with trilobites, worms and jellyfish, and predators with alien jaws. But around 500 million years ago, something more incredible happened. Life left the water. Welcome to the Paleozoic Era, the era of ancient life. It spanned nearly 300 million years and witnessed more evolutionary firsts than perhaps any other period in Earth's history. Everything changed, literally. It started in the Cambrian with the explosion of marine life, then came the Ordovician when the first primitive plants and fungi crept onto land. These weren't towering trees, but simple non-vascular plants hugging the moist ground, surviving in damp environments. But it was a start. The Silurian brought the rise of vascular plants, now able to grow taller and to spread further. At the same time, animals began testing the waters of land. The first to venture out were the arthropods. Think millipede-like creatures scuttling across muddy shores. Some of them developed hard exoskeletons to survive outside of the water. Fossilized trackways show the footprints of the earliest land explorers. It wasn't fast, it wasn't glamorous, but it was revolutionary. Then came the Devonian, the so-called Age of Fishes. Oceans were filled with bizarre armored fish, early sharks, and the first creatures with bones. And it was here that something wild evolved lobed finned fish. These fish had fleshy muscular fins, the ancestors of legs. From them came the first amphibians, animals that could breathe air, at least part time and walk on land. Life had officially made the leap. And Earth kept changing. In the Carboniferous, dense swampy forests covered the land, filled with giant ferns, horsetails and the ancestors of modern trees. The oxygen levels soared to nearly double today's levels. Insects grew massive, Dragonflies with two-foot wingspans soared through the air. Amphibians ruled the wetlands. And then came the reptiles. With tougher eggs and thicker skin, they were the first true land conquerors. They didn't need water to reproduce. They could live almost anywhere. But this golden age wouldn't last. As the Paleozoic neared its end, all of the continents collided to form a giant landmass, Pangaea. Climate patterns shifted, ecosystems collapsed, and then came the biggest extinction in Earth's history the Permian-Triassic extinction, also called the Great Dying. It wiped out over 90% of marine species and 70% of land species. Volcanoes in what is now Siberia poured out lava and toxic gases, choking the air and warming the planet. It was a global catastrophe. The age of ancient life ended in fire. But from the ashes of the Paleozoic, something new would arise. Bigger, stranger, louder, and with teeth. The next chapter? Dinosaurs.